Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. I'm sitting out here with the birds. Can you hear them? Oh, so precious. Hey, I am going to be um, continuing on with my purge today. So I found this little baggie of stuff. It's in a hip kit club bag, but they are not. This is pretty little studio stuff. I do end up, that one card, I was like, eh, I'm never going to use summer playlist. But I kept all the rest of them, so I just go ahead and keep that one as well. I do like that blue card with the suitcases on it. I'm going to hold that out because I have um, a project that calls for suitcases coming up. So, yes, I am going to go ahead and take that suitcase card out and keep that handy for the project that we have coming up here um, next month, I do believe. Most of the stuff that you're going to see in this video is going to be hip kit club kit stuff. And like I've said before, I haven't really had time to be playing with my hip kits um, as of late. So I do have a lot of the stuff left. So I'm deciding what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of. Now, I will tell you most of the things I am going to end up keeping. Um, here is a little chipboard set. Here's some papers. It's see right here. Okay, this looks like almost a complete collection. I think some of those alphas might have came out of this pack. But we have these die cuts haven't opened. I've got these gems from Prima haven't opened. These ones almost got sent away. That paper don't like it. So that one's going over to the side. We're gonna look through the rest of this. That blue, that's so vibrant. Look at that. How beautiful. This one I'm not sure about, so I put it to the side, but I will come back to that and end up keeping it because I don't like the pink side of that. I like the front side. I think that could be cut up and maybe even arranged on the paper pretty much the same way it is now. I think that might be pretty cool. Uh, maybe leave a little space in between them. Here are some borders. We're not going to keep those. Here is some Dear Lizzie stuff I picked up at Tuesday morning. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of both of those, guys. I've already, I probably have had these stickers several times, okay? So I've already used them once, so I don't really need them again. There's some washi strips from Jen Hadfield I don't want. And then some cheap stickers that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. These stickers, I'm like, I like this one sticker on here. Should I, can I take this one sticker off and <laughs> keep this one sticker? I decided no. I just went ahead and put it in the pile to um, give away. Right here we have a bunch of labels. Oh, that was my Mercat. <laughs> I did keep a Mercat from Dear Lizzie. Um, yes, we're going to keep that one. Um, but here are some labels. I'm going to go through these labels. I will end up keeping all these who is that lily bee design these ones i'm not going to keep this is october afternoon now, i don't like those strips but i do like the labels on it but look i had two of them so one is going to get passed on and one of them i am going to keep looking through here trying to decide if there's any of these that i like sorry about that had to come inside because um had company out there <laughs> No. Okay, so most of these die cut packs are unopened. You can see right here I have two of the same ones. Again, Dear Lizzie. Um, I don't think these ones I picked up at Tuesday morning. I think I actually purchased those, but I do believe I get rid of one and keep one. Possibly. Let's see what I do. Yep. Um, I'm going to keep these labels Brad's. Come on now. I love Brad's. Going to keep those. We've got this Jen Hadfield sticker book. We're going to go ahead and go through. Um, these are Studio Calico um, cardstock. See, this one right here, I'm going to pull this um, cute little unicorn out because I think Riley would like it. Now, when I'm looking at these stickers, I'm also considering what stickers I might give Riley to play with and what stickers I might that I'm going to be passing on to someone else. Riley does like stickers as well. However... <laughs> I know a lot of scrapbookers have a hard time getting their hands on some of this stuff. So, you know, these right here are for planner stickers. These are planner stickers. I wasn't really aware of that when I purchased them. I think I got them at scrapbook.com. As you can see, I haven't used any out of them. But these are very cute. I'm going to hold on to it. I don't know um, what the likelihood of me using all of this is or not, these stickers. But I am going to hold on to them. They're really cute. Uh, what else do we got coming up here? Let's see. Mm, more, more hip kit club stuff. These ones I thought about getting rid of, but I don't know. We're going to revisit that. Here is, I think these, this is from the Kaleidoscope, and I think this might be the most recent one I've played with. So I do have an empty die cut pack for those die cuts that just got left laying around. So we're going to go stick them back in the pack. 
and go through these papers and see if there's anything we want to keep. This paper, don't like it. This paper, I do like it, and I use that in a project coming up um, next. That paper, I love. This one, I'm on the fence about. This side, no. But the other side kind of looks like pea yellow. I don't know. I'm on the fence about that one. So we just put it to the side. Here's another one. Another hip kit club kit. Oh, yeah. I was showing you. Look, these would look good with that. Those I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Those go in that die cut pack for kaleidoscope. Okay, we'll open up and see what's in here. We have got more unopened die cuts so I'm going to keep those and I'm going to keep all these packages of the chipboard and the buttons I don't know about the buttons I don't know if I'll use those or not I'm like mm, I don't know maybe some of them I might we're going to go ahead and put those to the side I got lots of stuff it looks like guys wow <laughs> I'm here to tell you it is true I do here I'm like uh, I'm still going back to this paper like I don't know I don't know We'll take a look at these ones. I like this, these flowers. They're really pretty. I don't think I'd use them on a layout though. I do think the paper's pretty. This other side is very usable. Same with this, this um, nice wood grain, love it tags. Come on now, can't beat those. This one on the back side of that was gray. I don't know if you could see that, but that was pretty. All of these papers I think are pretty. This one reminds me of Riley, but spoiler alert, I use the opposite side of that one. That one is gonna be coming up um, with our next, layout that we do using our purged items or the items we saved not the items we purged that paper is gorgeous this paper is so cute right here oh my gosh isn't that cute again these are um hip kit club papers they are exclusive papers that they designed so that's really neat clear stickers they gotta go i don't like clear stickers these are like what are those called fringe those are fringe and i did try to use i did not try i did use a couple pieces i don't love them so i am going to go ahead and pass those on as well and then now we got some more die cuts again here's some bows these butterflies i don't remember seeing those um when the kit came in i don't even know if i've looked through this kit but they are really cute i'm going to keep those out thinking i'm going to use them i don't use them on the next layout but i did keep them out they are very cute i love those so then we've got some green alphas. Alphas are always a good thing. We'll keep those. And then we got some titles. Uh, again, we're going to use this on our coming up layout. It's very cute. I don't remember seeing these. These are large titles. They're very cute. Look at that summer. Wow. I don't use the summer. However, oh, I like the adventure too. I was pointing at it. Um, that also, I have the project coming up with suitcases. Adventure, I do believe, is also part of that project. So I'm going to have to keep that out. There's some stickers I haven't used. We'll keep those in. There's some little foam tape that got stuck in there. Put that back in its packaging. Now, apparently, when I saw this kit, I thought it, I thought I loved these papers so well, right? So I bought extra paper on this one. We got some more buttons here. I've seen if they're the exact same setup as the other ones, just different colors, but they're not. This pack's a little bit smaller. We've got some die cuts here. Very cute. I think those are, are those Pink Fresh? No, those are Hip Kit Club exclusives. The puffy stickers behind them are Pink Fresh. Very cute. Again, this is stuff I am going to be keeping. Look at these alphas that are coming up. Those are Hip Kit Club alphas, but you can see at the bottom where they have um, some butterflies in there. So those are cute. Here's the papers. That other side of that paper, wow. <laughs> Hurts the eyes. This one's cute. Of course, I'm going to keep these lemons because I do like the lemon. Now, when's the last time I used a lemon paper? I don't know, but you guys remember I kept that whole lemon paper pad. <laughs> Apparently, I really like the lemons. It is pretty early in the morning here. I woke up at like about 4, 4.30 this morning, something like that. I'm trying to get back on a schedule because here recently I've been doing this thing where I'll get up in the morning and then I'll end up taking a nap at like 4 o'clock in the afternoon, right? And then I'll be up till 2 o'clock in the morning. My schedule is so messed up and I think it's messing with my just my my whole being actually <laughs> my stomach it's messing with my whole being i think so i'm trying to get back on a schedule because i haven't had a regular schedule since i've been working from home so i'm trying to go ahead and you know fix that here's all the stuff we're getting rid of from this one little bit of our purge i'm going to go ahead and toss that underneath my desk i did have someone make a comment guys i'm still behind on my comments and my cards <laughs> hello my name is Becky I am lazy um no I am behind on that but I did have someone asking about saying that she would like to um get some of my stuff I'm getting rid of and 
to you who made that comment, if you want to send me an email, um, you can. That'd be fine. And we can talk about it or whatever. Uh, most of the stuff that I'm going to be getting rid of, I'm not... If someone wants something from it and they want to pay shipping, if they make it easy for me and I don't have to go through piece by piece, whatever I looked at, if they're like, yeah, just give me a chunk and I could just put it in a box that's prepaid, I will absolutely do that um, if you want to pay for the shipping on it. All right. What are we going to be finding next? Look, I got this drawer full of embellishments. Did you see that bag I took out of the top? That was my Heidi Swap bag with the new collection in it. So I picked all these up over at Hobby Lobby. I picked them up. They were all on sale. Now, these are some of the stickers I was looking at thinking that um, Riley might like. Like those um, sloths. They're kind of puffy. They're kind of metallic. I think she would like the feel of those. So those are ones that I might, if I don't keep myself and use, I will pass those on to Riley. Um, this this outfit set has been used, okay? It's it's going to go away. I'm, I'm tired of looking at it. So we got this birthday one. I love those balloons. There's clear stickers on the back that are going to go eventually. And we got some porcupines here. Again, Riley would love those. I think those are really cute. I'm going to try to use them, but if I can't, I will probably pass those on to Riley. So I was trying to figure out who this was. It just says American Crafts, but I think is, guys, is this Amy Tan? I'm not sure. And then we have these little puffies, super cute. We're going to keep those. Um, these butterflies, I'm going to get rid of those. I had two larger of those butterflies, and I ended up putting those into the bin to get rid of. I did use some of those balloons, those La Petite balloons right there already on the layout. Very cute. I'm taking that um, Heidi Swap, those envelopes, they go in the Heidi Swap new collection. So I just threw them in there because I had that out in handy. Those are really cute. I did use those on a layout. And look at these parrots. Oh, I think they're parrots. And I got two of these, but I'm keeping those because they're beautiful. Here we got some really cute glittery stars. I will do want to keep those. Those look really fun. Especially if you're doing something with the grandkids. I got these because um, John and I went to New Orleans earlier in the year. Got some gnomes. Love the gnomes. I don't know if it's the gnomes I love so much as much as the mushrooms. We got some candy and some flowers. These hearts are gorgeous. These were picked up at the Dollar Tree, but I'm keeping these because, again, these are ones that I will pass on to Riley. Now, I might take some of those unicorns and just make some super simple um, cards for her. That ribbon's going to go away. You can see I've got it on clearance from Hobby Lobby. And then we're going to keep the last ones with the unicorns again, Riley. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put these all over to the side and uh, see what we find next. And those are all the papers that we are keeping. Very cute. These are charms and you guys know I love the charms. So we are going to go ahead and keep those little tiny itty bitty flowers i don't know where i think i got these in a d stash they're cute some of them have got like little gold flecks on them these pink fresh wood dots and also washi stickers they've been banging around in my scrap room for i don't even know how long here's some little buttons they can go with the other buttons and here's another one of those stickabilities books um i got several of these at the same time this one is the mermaid very cute again Riley, right? If I don't use all of these. Although these are really good um, for planners if you do planners. I was thinking about getting back into planners. Did you guys know that's how I started scrapbooking was by way of planners. Then planners, then pocket pages, then scrapbooking. <laughs> so we're looking through this. This is all travel. Very cute. I love the black. Again, there's going to be some clear stickers that are not going to get used and here we got little tiny planner ones don't know if those will get used but this one I go through a couple times because I'm looking through it you know I have a new nephew and I think this will be cute but I'm looking through these stickers and I'm like mm, they're all very boxy a lot of those stickers are very boxy so I'm like I don't know if I'm really going to be using those I, mean, I wish they had some shapes cut out in there as well but mm, I might revisit that one that one we might not end up keeping well we'll see so what else do we have? Oh, I'm getting out my scrap rack um, book. I'm going to go ahead and put some of these up. I've got way too many 
too much stuff in here or on my desk right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some of these away into the scrap rack or yeah, the spinder right here. Um, and after that, guys, we're not going to do anything else. I don't think we go through anything else after that. I did pull those alphas out of there saying um, they made it through the first round that we went through this spinder, but they're not making it the second round. I went ahead and threw those out. And yeah, I don't know if you guys want to watch me put stuff in a spinder or not, but this is how I do it. You can organize it in such a way that, you know, you have all the puffy stickers together, the this, the that, whatever. Some people will do it by color. I'm just, I just throw it in there because half the fun is flipping through it, right? Same with that spiral notebook. Half the fun is flipping through it. Now, these are not quite the right size to fit into these pockets. So some of these you're going to see, that one's going to fit in there. But some of these I'm going to have to cut. So like this one, look how big that is. I'm going to snip off the La Petites at the top and just stick it into the back of the package. So all the, these packages are going to be open because I'm cutting the top off, sticking that in the back so I know the brand, not that it matters. I don't usually even say uh, what it is, but occasionally sometime, occasionally you guys will ask, what was that? What brand was that? So I did keep that, um, keep those with the original packaging so I will know. But that's how I do it to get them to fit because some of them don't fit with the packaging in there and I don't want to take them out of the packaging. So yeah, this is how I do it. All right, guys, there is about five more minutes of this kind of stuff. If you uh, feel like watching, I probably am not going to be uh, doing a voiceover for all of it. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me. Please make sure you check Kathy's Purge videos. And, you know, if you'd like to support my channel, check the links down below, beckybidding.closetomyheart.com. Again, I'm still working on more affiliate links to put down there. I've been, um, have I been busy or have I been lazy? I'm not really even sure which. <laughs> These seashell ones, those might go away eventually. Those are very thick. So those might go away at some point in time. Here are... Um, these come in, you can get different kinds of these, uh, what are they called? Page protectors. I don't know if that's what they're really called, but it's, um, from totally Tiffany, I think. And yeah, I get several different kinds. These ones are the two six by 12. Again, these ones are too big. I'm going to have to trim those down, but yeah, these are the six by 12 perfect for these kind of stickers. So yeah. All right, guys, again, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.